Good afternoon. I spent the afternoon today for the first time touring US 101 at Olive Mill and a great section of State Route 192. And it's not until you can see the damage uh, with your own eyes that you can really come to understand the magnitude of the incident, uh, the response that is necessary, but most importantly, the impact to the citizens and families of Santa Barbara County. So it was quite uh, an eye-opener uh, to take that kind of tour uh, this afternoon. I'm pleased to report that we are making steady and sure progress on US Highway 101, particularly at Olive Mill. We have removed more than 150 yards of debris in the northbound lanes and nearly 80 yards in the southbound lanes. Much of this progress has occurred within the past 12 to 18 hours. We're now in an environment where the water has receded to a point where for the first time we are able to remove solid material that is closest to the roadway. So we're very pleased to report that news today. We have 75 personnel within Caltrans working on US 101 and State Route 192. They are working 12-hour shifts, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That also includes seven Caltrans crews from two neighboring districts. On State Route 192, we have seen damage to three different bridges. Once we're able to open 192, we anticipate there will be some sort of restricted access or traffic control at those locations. And finally, we hope within the next 24 hours to have some guidance on a schedule for reopening US 101. Again, this would be based on the activity that will take place over that time. Again, we're seeing the water receding. We're able to really get into uh, the meat of removing the heavy material uh, on the base of US 101. So hopefully in the coming days, we'll have some more good news to share. Thank you very much.